all factory progress side by side for the entire month of October. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. A quick thanks to newest patrons, Jim and Sydney. Got to meet them in Texas at a couple events. Got to meet them again in Florida. Hope to see them again at some more Tesla events. We have fun. I've been doing longer versions of this for Best in Tesla for uh, all year, but uh, sometimes viewers complain it's too short or too frequent, so I do them uh, less frequently once a month. And this is the longer version on my channel, which uh, goes into more detail. And if you want to go even deeper in detail, you can follow the drone pilots, Wu Wa and Jason Yang in Shanghai, uh, Tobias and uh, Wolfpack in Berlin, and Jeff, Joe, and Brad in Texas. So this is a little how it works. I just record the whole thing and then chop it up. <laughs> so it goes a little something like this. Hey Lars, well in Shanghai this month, uh, the Northwest Utility Building is done. It is done. That little extension we saw in the central corridor, also done. There's now quite a bit of solar panels on the roof, the extension there at the southwest corner. Kind of a strange choice of where to put them. The most busy roof, the most panels. Very good then. And why are they only on the busiest part? It's a bit strange. And if we hover in this area for just a second, we will see three Model Ys come out of the factory during this very brief time lapse. In Berlin, there's new grading to the far north. This will probably become loading or a lot of some sort, or it could become part of the greater extension. The stamping extension at the north uh, has had quite a bit more work done. They're getting the forms it poured now. It is taking shape. There may be some more pilings to go, but uh, fewer than ever. And if you're curious why there's so many pilings and they're so close together, it's because uh, the location is built on sand, basically, on top of the water table. So you can't go too deep to hit solid ground. You have to put a ton of them close together. It is called a floating raft design. And uh, yeah, and along the side here, you can see there is more construction equipment going in and out than there was last month. At the south end, the employee parking lot is being substantially reworked. The road extension is getting expanded and uh, widened, and they've got the center divider in there. And to the southeast, the parking is getting better. There's even some more EV chargers over there, which is great. And there were some heavy footings at the edge of this area for nothing. Maybe they're going to put uh, some solar arms, some canopies up here. Tough to say, awfully heavy footings for just the edge of a parking lot. The sprung structure by the uh, Motorworks building is done at the southeast corner. The Tesla logo is in place. That's helpful. And the drainage ponds are operational. They're doing their job. There is a new structure by the pond. Nothing exciting. There's a new tent going up along the north road. That's kind of good. And there's more logistics uh, going in in the northeast. <laughs> Look at that. A choo-choo. An expansion may be coming to the north. Tobias Lind believes that this area will soon begin clearing uh, since permits have been applied for. In Texas, on uh, the northeast kind of area, just north of the entrance, there's docks, loading docks that have been kind of finalized. There's more dock rework to the south of that area. And the south loading lot is being torn up. If we go over into the parking lot, we'll see that the loading lot is a bit fuller. And the employee lot is in use and is also holding some deliveries. You know, these vehicles have to go somewhere and the south lot's torn up. So the south employee gravel area, where some employees had been parking, is now part of the warehouse on wheels. And that's because uh, the north of the warehouse on wheels itself has been emptied. Perhaps they're going to pave this soon. Tough to say, that would be a reasonable guess. There's geopeering going on to the west of the cathode building. And the cathode building itself is looking great. It's Walls are closing off. It's got heavy foundations inside. Most of the concrete work is done. There's drainage uh, going on outside. It's just coming along real fast. On the west side, the walls are almost halfway done. And there's even uh, a bunch of rebar on this uh, outside area 
uh, extending, where we believe there will be a tank farm maybe, and uh, something quite heavy. The switchyard progress is unmistakable. A month ago it was just level ground, and now it's got a lot of equipment and materials put in place. And uh, the far west, <laughs> on the other side of the highway, uh, there's a clearing now. Looks like they're maybe doing something over here. And the south end of the far west side, there's been more uh, pond work and clearing work. And on the roof, the solar expansion is moving at a breakneck snail's pace. Very slow. A uh, little bit of expansion between the letters E and S, and that is about it. Back to you, Lars. And that's how you do it. And that's how you do it. And then you're done. So what did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts, your wisdom, your juicy brilliance, your blinding goodness, all that good stuff. And thanks, as always, to my patrons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free look, all that good stuff. And uh, honestly, help keep the channel running, because it's really tough. And, uh, and YouTube does not pay well. It really doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, and with that said, um, subscribe. Like it, if you did. You don't have to give me a dollar. That's fine. I don't need a dollar if you don't got a dollar. But you can subscribe, leave a comment, like it if you did, all that good stuff. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.